Good morning. Welcome to Power Words. Our power word for this morning is contentment. In Hebrews 13, 5, it says, Let your conversation, or that means your conduct, your behavior, be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Over in 1 Timothy 6.10, it says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. In our society today, in our world, it's hard to find people who are really content. It seems like we want more, better, bigger, all of those things. I mean, we're we're not content. We buy a new smartphone, and then in a month after we buy it, the new one comes out. And we want that. And all of a sudden, the phone that we loved five minutes ago, as soon as we saw the commercial for the new phone, we want it. So we're no longer content with the one we have. Or we buy a car and we feel so good about it, but someone else gets another one. And then here we go. Now we don't love ours as much and we're not content. And we could go on and on and on, but, but our nature is our flesh craves desires, lust for things that are bigger, better, or belong to someone else. And even in the Ten Commandments, it said, thou shalt not covet. And in Hebrews 13, 5, it says, don't covet, live without covetousness. We are to find contentment. We're not to covet other people's things or things that are bigger and better and and all of that. We're to be content with those things we have. And if we will do that, we'll have peace. We'll make a great testimony. In Hebrews 13, 5, it says, first of all, about your life, number one, don't covet. Don't covet other people's things or things that are bigger and better than yours. Just don't covet. Secondly, then it says to be content with what you have. And interestingly enough, the end of the verse says, He hath said, Jesus, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So here's what this is saying is don't covet things, but be content with what you have because you have Christ, which means you have everything. I mean, you have the unspeakable gift of the Lord Jesus, and through him you have a salvation and forgiveness and eternal life, and you have his great and precious promises, and you have heaven waiting for you, and you have all of his blessings, and you have his presence. So learn to be content. Don't covet. Be content with what you have because you have Christ, and he is everything. You've been listening to Power Words. God bless you.